Those Wedding Bells Shall Not Ring Out by Monroe H. Rosenfeld Read for LibriVox.org by Delmar H. Dolbeer A sexton stood one Sabbath eve within a belfry grand, awaiting signal from the church with bell-rope in his hand as in the house of worship stood a young and happy pair to pledge their troth for evermore each other's love to share the holy man then spake these words before your join for life has any person aught to say against you as man and wife then down the aisle there came a man with quick and eager tread and pointing to the trembling bride these words he calmly said those wedding bells must not ring out she is another's bride i saw her at the altar rail we stood there side by side she cannot claim another's hand she dare not break the law's command a guilty wife you see her stand those bells shall not ring out the minister was speechless and the bridegroom stood amazed the congregation spellbound sat and thought the man was crazed the bride had not a word to say, but simply hung her head. "'Who is this man?' the preacher asked. "'I know him not,' she said. "'Then ring the bells!' the bridegroom cried. The man knelt to entreat. The sexton swung the chimes aloft. The bells rang clear and sweet. But scarce their music had begun, when forth there came a shout. "'Stand back, I say, they shall not ring!' those bells shall not ring out those wedding bells shall not ring out i swear it on my life for we were wedded years ago and she is still my wife she shall not break her vows to me she's mine through all eternity she's mine till death shall set her free those bells shall not ring out a shriek of woe a glittering blade a lurch, a flash, a dart, and like the lightning stroke the blade had reached her trembling heart. "'You've killed his bride! Oh, God!' they cried. He swung the gleaming blade and pierced his own heart as he gasped, "'Nay, not his bride, my wife!' Two forms lay cold within the aisle, the husband and the bride, as once in life he claimed they stood in wedlock side by side. His vow was kept, the bells had ceased, and with his dying breath, these words once more he murmured, ere his lips were closed in death. Those wedding bells shall not ring out, I swear it on my life, for we were wedded years ago, and she is still my wife. She shall not break her vows to me, She's mine through all eternity. She's mine till death shall set her free. Those bells shall not ring out. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain.